welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Showbiz is a Canelo Alvarez hater and a Tank Davis fanboy. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And over the last few months, I've had countless subscribers, people coming into my comment sections, my lives, telling me that, hey, you remind me of Showbiz. You are the only two channels that I like. Both of you guys are objective. Both of you guys are honest. And that's not true. Showbiz is a clown who clout chases for views. He's a Canelo Alvarez hater and he's a Tank Davis fanboy. You can't take anything this guy says serious because it's all for views. That's all this guy is. He's really no different than the LDBC, Ego, DBN. The guy packages his content differently. Look at it like this. He came out with a video saying, breaking news, 230,000 buys, Canelo does Tank Davis pay-per-view numbers. Now, the interesting thing is, you know, he came out prematurely with these numbers. Even though all the numbers weren't out, even though nothing credible was saying his numbers were 230,000 buys, but this guy came out saying that Canelo Alvarez did 230,000 buys, Tank Davis's old pay-per-view numbers. When the actual numbers come out, that Canelo Alvarez did 450,000 buys. 450, more than double. But this guy is talking about Canelo Alvarez did half to justify a narrative that Tank Davis is the face of boxing. This is all this guy does. Even Eddie Hearn co-signs my numbers by saying, Canelo Alvarez has done double what's being reported of the 230,000 buys. Eddie Hearn has co-signed that. So when the real numbers come out, you see Eddie Hearn has also backed those. So 450,000 buys from Canelo Alvarez is impressive against a guy like John Ryder, who no one knew who the hell he was. No one knew who John Ryder was. So you, you're sitting up here hating on Canelo Alvarez? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. This guy is spreading lies like he spread his cheeks. Another thing is, he's comparing Canelo Alvarez and John Ryder versus Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, which makes no sense, no comparison. Ryan and Tank are very well-known fighters. Both of these guys are, are extremely well-known. Both of these guys are stars in their own right. Canelo Alvarez is the only star between him and John Ryder in a tune-up fight. So you're comparing a tune-up fight to a, a, a massive pay-per-view fight between two stars what are you talking about are you this stupid are you this dumb you're going to compare a tune-up fight to a massive pay-per-view fight and canelo alvarez did 450,000 buys with a tune-up fight dumbass imagine what he does when canelo alvarez actually goes into a big pay-per-view showcase fight imagine those numbers because against a tune-up he did 450,000 buys. You can't be this stupid to compare these two fights. It doesn't even make sense, you idiot. And so, you know, this guy comes out with content saying it's official. Dravant is the face of boxing. He says Canelo Alvarez, his era is over. And Tank Davis is the face of boxing simply because he beat Ryan Garcia. These are his words, not mine. Now, that makes no sense because even though he says this, he fails to mention a lot of things. Like, for example, he fails to mention that Canelo Alvarez is Forbes' highest paid athlete list at number five for 2023. Why he didn't mention this? Why are you not mentioning this? Where is Tank Davis? Is Tank Davis in the top 10 of Forbes' highest paid athletes list? No. Canelo Alvarez is the only boxer in the top 10 of Forbes' highest paid athletes list. Canelo only. In the top 10. What about the top 50? In the top 50, there's only two boxers. Canelo and Anthony Joshua in the top 50 of Forbes. Highest paid athletes list. So there's only two boxers. Where's Tank Davis? Oh, it doesn't suit your narrative, so you don't want to talk about it. I get it. I understand. And then he also fails to mention if Tank Davis is the face of boxing. When has Tank Davis got a $50 million guarantee from the PBC? When, when has he gotten that type of guarantee? When Canelo Alvarez has been offered nearly 50 million guaranteed to fight David Benavides. Now, what was Tank Davis? You call him the face of boxing. What was his guarantee for Ryan Garcia? It says here, according to Essentially Sports, Tank Davis was guaranteed to earn five million dollars. So they have more faith in Canelo Alvarez than they do in Tank Davis, who you call the face of boxing. Why is, if Canelo Alvarez's star power is dwindling, if it's going down, 
if it's not anything special and Tank Davis is the big man on campus, then why in the hell are they offering Canelo Alvarez nearly 50 million guaranteed, dumbass? This, this is what I'm talking about. We have to be honest and unbiased about what we're seeing. This, this guy really doesn't understand or know much about boxing. He's really a fraud, if we're going to be honest about it. I mean, think about it like this. This is the same guy who says, I'm betting 5000 on Ryan to beat Tank. This guy said this out of his own mouth. Basically, Ryan Garcia is a bad style for Tank. What kind of dumbass says that? Who says that Ryan Garcia is a bad style for Tank? Tank is a natural counterpuncher, idiot. So, you mean to tell me a guy who leaves his chin up in the air, has a predictable offense, is a bad style for a natural counterpuncher in Tank Davis? What are you doing? This guy was simply trying to hype up Ryan Garcia so he could give Tank Davis maximum credit. That's all he was. See, this guy is either a dumbass or he's a liar. I don't know which one yet. You're either a dumbass or a liar. This is why you never trust a man with loop earrings. Let's just be honest and unbiased about it. This guy also said that Tank Davis may be the hardest puncher in boxing over Deontay Wilder over all these other guys Tank Davis may be the the number one guy in boxing with power and that makes no sense because Tank Davis has not knocked out one elite opponent name one elite opponent Tank Davis has knocked out go you can't now look how stupid you are you haven't knocked out anybody elite but you're the hardest puncher in boxing so what are you basing this off you're basing this off Tank Davis going 12 rounds with Isaac Cruz is that what you're basing this off of or are you basing this off of Ryan Garcia quitting in the ring? Exactly what are you basing this off of? This is just another reason for you to meet ride Tank Davis. Let's just be honest and unbiased about it. And then this guy also in the same clip had the nerve to say that Tank Davis has the same IQ as Shakur Stevenson. You literally cannot be this stupid. And if you believe that, you truly are a dumbass. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.